What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, I'd like to welcome you guys back to Vampire. Hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. Without any further ado though, let's get into the next video. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. Mm. What is Nurse Crane up to? Blackmail, well we know who's I doing really it. must find her. Man, I need some help. She's a bit of a ways away. Holy hell, that's quick. I need this. There you go. Eat the rat. I need all the rats. Alright, where are we headed? Let's go. Good. To start. It's a bit dicey there for a bit, but we got it. Citizen to save. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on him. Oh, come on, dude. Are you serious? No, wait a minute. I want to bite him. Bite him. I think he just witnessed that. Come on, get off of me. Are you serious, dude? These guys can just go die in fire. Roll, roll, roll. Four. Bite him. He's down. You okay, man? I'm not here for you. Just kidding. You alright, bruv? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. All right, well, that's all we got to do. I can mesmerize him. Oh, wait a minute, so I can eat him. Just kidding. So that's, so that's for eating them, right? Okay, gotcha. Sorry, bruv. Okay, that's fine. All right, let, what's going on? There. Okay, what's... Let me out. Something's all messed up. There we go. It was all locked into it. Anyway, you're well. There was no point in like... I guess it was one way to eat him and like get your... Get your stam going, you know? Um, Cause yeah, but the thing is he was just in need of help. I'd rather do it to people who are douches. That one dude in the beginning though, he... He killed somebody, but we don't know why or how. For what purpose. So anyways. He could have been defending himself. That's kind of what it looked like. Oh, I missed. Come on. There you go. I hate wasting that with a burning passion. That is a handy little uh, tool I can use. Okay, so I think I gotta go. Damn it, I hate that. I have to go to Whitechapel. There's a couple ways I can do it. I can cross the bridge and go through this way. Or I can kind of go through the hospital. There's some guys up ahead. I'm gonna see if I can just stealth it. Turn around, sir. Is there a way through? Oh wait, I'm just gonna go the way I came. I'm sorry, don't worry about me. Stop right now. Sorry, I'm leaving. Oh boy! Just go the way you came. That's all you can do. I feel like we're not a high enough level, but I could stop off at the hospital and get a rest. And level up some stuff. I think I might go ahead and do that. Look at that experience we got going on. So I'm gonna quickly go do that before we tackle Whitechapel. Could be good for us, for our well-being. Right, take a little. Oh wait, we should craft. You know what? I want to craft some uh, some health potions. I can make one of those and give it to what's his name. Light regeneration serum. 
was the only one, though, right? I could craft this. Sepsis, anima, an or anemia. I said an, an anima, anemia, sorry. I don't know, is that worth it? We've got that one ability. It seems to do wonders, so I think I might hold off. I might level it up, actually. We don't have a shotgun yet. We have shotgun shells, but... Let's see how things go here. What do we want? I like the claw. It's only a level one, but I think I better do... Which one was it again? Yes. Get this one going. This is important. It's actually, oh yeah, it's pretty, it, 1300 to get to level 2. Alright, we can't, we need to be a level 12 for those ones anyway. So what can, else can we do? Maybe upgrade the claw? Oh jeez, wait a minute, that needs 2000. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Alright, well what about spring? I've tried, it doesn't seem to work that well, we don't have enough. Bite, hard biting, maybe level up to a 2. Increase the damage inflicted while using bite. That just seems like it makes the most sense. Let's do it. I use bite quite often. Well, you should. All right, we're already at level nine, so that's good progress. I'm wondering what the level cap is. It probably is really high, like insanely high. All right, we're still healthy. Major district events. If a, if a district's health status drops below critical, it'll plunge into chaos. So we got to make sure that doesn't happen. There's this guy here. He's got anemia. Clay Cox. I remember him. Maybe I should craft that. That's the guy I rescued. So let me, maybe I'll craft it and bring it to him. I don't know where he is. But it could be good. Let's go. Look at that. Black male in Whitechapel. Oh, check out this saw, dude. Let me see this. This thing is better. I need a common handle part to get it to a level 2. Level 5. The perfect hacksaw. So how do you get it? You just need a bunch of parts. And then you, so you do that, then that, and then you do that, then that. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's go to the equipment screen. So I have a common barbed... It's not as good. It's lower. This thing is about the same. Oh, it's the same. It is the same. Attack speeds up. Stamina drops, which is good. So anything green, but the damage isn't as good. The scythe is no... Yeah, it's about the same. So we'll leave it. Eventually, we'll get some better stuff. Let's go. Solid gold. Over into Whitechapel. Oh my god. It was a dark and stormy night. People were scared. People were sick, dying. Their lives in shambles. It was up to one man. One vampire. To save the day. Off to Whitechapel he went. To find the black male. The block mail due to a curfew. Things are messed up in Whitechapel tonight. So we opened up the map to take a look at where he should go. He could go left. He could go right. It was up to him. Decisions mattered. I don't want to kill him. Sorry, sir. No admittance. Why? Can I speak to you? Stay away! Alright, I'm leaving. Bye! <laughs> Just walk through. Stay away! God, crack gay! I thought I saw something. More and more of these bloody leeches ever come down. I, but the guard will recruit more and more every year. Smells like one leech. Best be off home. They want me to go. This is no place for you, sir. Can I get up there, please? I would very much like to. 
Oh, I think they're pissed. Fine, let's dance. Fight him. Let him know. Oh, what happened there? We have to stop it. Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Richard the wall. Get him! Every time you miss, it just totally ruins it. Shit. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Get him, eat him. I gotta heal. Whoa, hello. Fight him. Let him know. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> Holy hell, he's a big boy. Oh, I missed. Oh, I hate wasting it like that. Son of a bitch. Is he missing with any melee? It just doesn't. I want to get rid of this guy right now. That's nice. That's nice of them to wait. Oh, come on. What the hell is going on? Two. Thank you. Fight him now. Roger the wall. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Oh, there you go. Common trigger parts. Now we can make, we can upgrade one of our weapons if we'd like. But we're heading. Honestly, getting a better weapon is going to be good. Wait, what was that? Did I see something? I heard, please open the door, sir. I don't know. Maybe this door. Either way, I'm going there. Alright, White Chapel. We're here now. White Chapel. There's a hideout. This neighborhood is linked. Still. Where are we right here? Oh, it's take I'm the right. To the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Large box of pills, that could be good. Shoddy shell. Maybe not. You alright? Oh, he's a dead man. Let me see the map. I, oh god, someone just got shot. And no, I wasn't looking. I can't walk any faster than this. There you go. Back in action. Dead inside. This is it, isn't it? I don't even know if this is it. This could be the hideout. This could be nothing. I didn't look at the map at the right time. I think this is the hideout, though. Why wouldn't it be? It says dead inside, so... Serious district status. Yeah, this is definitely it. Perfect place to hide out. Maybe we can upgrade a weapon. I heard a, uh, heard a rat nearby. Should be a workbench somewhere. Yay, new hideout. Safe. All right, there's your workbench. Let's see what we got for modding weapons. We could level it up, but I think common machete. Could upgrade that as well. It's not that good in damage front. Oh, we don't have that. We need three common handle parts. It'll up it to 75 damage. What about the bludgeon? I thought we had a common handle part. We could upgrade this. What's it at? 130. Increased damage dealt by 10%. Add three stun points when well. Oh, I kind of like the sounds of that. But actually, the stun, it's... I'm actually going to take that. That's better. <laughs> Alright, so we can't even upgrade anything at the moment. So we'll keep it... Well, we can, but... You know what I'm talking about. Let's take a nap, level up our goodies. And, uh, yeah. Tactical to spring. I have... Oh, 350. I can only get one more. 
I think that's a, I can't believe I haven't got that yet. 5% heal. It's not much, but it'll it's a start. Got to unlock an ultimate as well. That's kind of like your special thing, you know, special attack. All right, let's go. Can't just walk out. You're not going to let me walk out like I own the joint. Such a shame. But uh, anyway, the source of the blackmail. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. You okay, bro? Oh, wait a minute. He's not far. Darius Petrescu. Hello? What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. All right. He's got bronchitis. Blood quality is trash. Let's go around the back door, maybe? Can we do that? I saw a T somewhere. It's locked. Can I just walk in? Oh, There's he's no one in. Oh, wait a minute. Why would it let me in anywhere? Oh, there he is. Strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. All right, new hint I must there. Talk to that journalist or the poet. They... Oh, there's a couple nearby. Where are we right? Okay, I hate that. We must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Let's haul it. Richard Nethercourt or Clayton Darby? We're both. Cheap I... price, good quality. Come on, take a look. Don't be afraid. Which one's Clayton? This guy could be him. Yo, who are you? Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not <laughs> a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, Sam. But Colossus Joe the most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. What a salty bastard. pretty healthy have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane she's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here Dorothy Crane yeah I know her. one of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here could you please tell me more about her she's a nice girl tries to help the migrants 
I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. May I ask what you do around here? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Oh, he's pretty mean. Don't have any. We gotta find out more hints. Goodbye, Mr. Peter. Okay. You again. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So, Richard Nithercourt, who are you? Oh, before I talk to him, let's see what this is. Let's get some goodies. Guard the freedom. Join the ranks, etc. Joe, please, I don't... Welcome, sir. I am Dr. Reed. Doctor? Oh, he wants to trade. Okay, well, I don't want to talk to him right now. So that's not him. Clayton. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. I'm kind of confused. So that's dad, right? That's the guy we speak spoke to Mr. Peterson already. Meanwhile, I'm just searching his place like an absolute champ. We might be able to search upstairs. It's locked. Thanks for that. Refusal letter. The job at Dockyard. Oh, he got refused for the job. Now we got a new hint. New collectible. Cool. Well, my goal, though, is still to fi find Clayton. Maybe I can find out more. So, I'm not bothered. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. I know that voice actor who does, you know. Goodbye. Okay, I don't really need anything. I'm trying to find Clayton. Is there only pain and suffering in this way? He's supposed to be in this area. Who are you? You look like the, the, the Reverend. My interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. Oh, for God's sake. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. What's his name? Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. All right. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the, the shadow, shadow of death. death. Yeah, of course. Same old, same old. Okay. So I didn't want him. I, I don't want to talk to him anymore. Tonight. Goodbye. Where the hell is Clayton? Who are you? Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby. That's him. Sorry, 
I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Cool. What is a journalist doing in this borough after sunset? He goes where none of his colleagues would dare to go, to inform the country. So you risk your life to reveal the truth. I saw many reporters do the same during the war. Whitechapel is the crucible of so many untold stories and tragedies. I want people to know them. All right, got a new hint there. That's quite, quite as much as we can. But is the public interested? Not at all, sir. And that's why I'm an independent journalist, hoping to sell some stories. Why are the newspapers keeping silent about the Spanish influenza? It's as though none of you care. There's a war going on. People shouldn't be demoralized by news of deadly diseases. It's a disgrace. People are left to die alone. No one is properly informed of the risks. These are bad times indeed. So much for the glorious British Empire. Damn. Have you any idea of the danger you face in these streets at night? I've had to run and hide more than once from frenzied mobs incensed by the fever. Do you think the flu is really responsible for this, Doctor? That science is unable to explain the facts doesn't mean there is no rational explanation. <sighs> I confess, I share your point of view, Doctor. All right, let's go back. Did I already ask him this? Yeah. Oh no, don't have any hints. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are wary of strangers and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah! Could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. He has no relatives at all? No, except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott, who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nethercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. All right, well, that's that. We talked to Darby. Now we gotta find the mailbox and the letter. There's, which one's closer? Let's look up, open up the map real fast. Oh, they're all like around the corner. Flower bouquet. I love how she just dropped it and we still saw it. That's so funny. So we can ask her about it. There it is. So sorry I have not heard from you in a few months. So war going in England. Poverty and against justice. Won't be coming back to Romania. The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. Right, which one's his house? Or is that it for now? All right, let's head along here. Wait, it wants me to go left, right? Yeah, around the edge and down. I'm assuming. 
right? No, that seems wrong. Which? So wait, I have to get on the. Uh... I have to get inside somehow. This is all locked up, though. It's locked, all right. But you can just hop over. It's not a problem. There's got to be a way to do it. Can I just walk in through the? Keep out of this area as a quarantine. Gotta be a way in, though. Crap. You are blinded by your false faith. Oh, shut up. Imprisoned by your daily routine. Unable to see the truth. Can I go in this? Oh, I can go in this way. They just didn't want me to shortcut it. Seems kind of douchey. Who cares which door I go in? Oh, God! That escalated pretty fast. Oh, my Lord! Eat him! Oh, I love this. I love the extra damage we've done. He gets dirty. That was nice, dude. Nothing from them. Just a bunch of randos. More on the flu. Hello, good sir. You were there. I think I know who he is. Wait, what do we got here? Hold on. Bottle of alcohol. That's gotta be him. Are you Richard? Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes cannot see. Really? Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nithercott. At your service. We found him. Tell me, Mr. Nethercott, why seek inspiration in Whitechapel? The place is not beautiful per se, but uh, how to explain it? Stirring and challenging. Do you not think it a little morbid? On the contrary, sir. Whitechapel is full of life, full of beauty. Just like my Dear Muse, the wonderful Camellia. What can you tell me about Camellia? Not much. And that's the beauty of it. She can't speak, you know. She's a locked mystery who exhales kindness and sweetness. That's the girl we saw perhaps earlier. Perhaps you're just afraid to find out the truth about your Muse. One day, perhaps, I'll ask her to come with me. But, ah. Uh, Will she still be my wild flower of Whitechapel if she moves uptown? And have you ever tried to learn more about her? Where she lives? How she survives? Whom she may know? Maybe I prefer she remains an enigma. Reality can be so dull, don't you think? Fair enough. What do we got on his medical checkup? We can cure him with a cold, but we need something for it. And you can make his blood quality even better. In what way, exactly? The struggle by gaslight. The barren smiles and the added hunger under the rain. If you say so. Such vibrant antagonism and vivid paradox. The stripped humanity raged across each street. Vivid, of course, yes. And what about the poignant distress? Oh yes, the poignant distress. You see what I mean, don't you? That's what I want to write about. And that's what Whitechapel is made of. Okay, let's get to the point now. Or sort of. Did you know the mute florist is a member of a secret society? No, I didn't. But I thank you for this information, sir. For it only enriches the mystery surrounding the precious camellia. Are you not curious? Is there not more you wish to know? That girl has not an ounce of malice in her. Whatever she may be hiding, it's certain to be for the benefit of most, if not all. 
I fear you are a hopeless romantic, Mr. Nethercote. Guilty as charged, Dr. Reed. Alright, well anyway, nothing else? May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. Sounds very mysterious. But, sorry, no, never heard of her. Okay. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. Okay, that's it for him. I'll leave you alone, sir. Darius is a bit less of a mystery now. It should not be that difficult to incite him to let me in. Cool. All right, now we can actually leave this way. Was there anything over here, though? Nah. A lot of the stuff isn't interactable. Got a bit of a ways to travel. It's not terrible, but... Perhaps we'll find out what the black mail is all about. Excuse me, good sirs. Cheap price, good quality. Cheap price, good quality. I, 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 I. Hello. Oh, this dude. Yeah, okay. Just looking for them games. Mr. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again. Go away. Mesmerize level two. Sir, wait. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man? You and I. <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't make me regret this, though. Okay. Can I look about, like, snoop? Go ahead, snoop around. <laughs> Let's go through it's his files. Locked, all right. All right. Very locked. Going through his files. Doesn't even care. It's so savage. Dorothy! Dorothy! What have you done, Dorothy? Oh my. Just take all their med medical supplies. Wait. No, I wanted to. Damn it. Patient Razvan Vasily. High fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, head pain. Diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration. But he's having trouble keeping even water down. Thank you, nurse. Anything else I should know? He did lose consciousness this morning, but he's never had convulsions like these. <coughs> He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? It's too dangerous to operate with these convulsions. Sedative, nurse. Do we have any anesthetics? I'm sorry, Doctor, none at all. Gonna have to go in balls deep. I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. We're going to cut a passage for air through the neck. Yes, Doctor. 
He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A thoracostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. Right then, Nurse Crane. What do you suggest we do? I've no idea. I'm not the doctor. Time is of the essence. We need to perform a thoracic drain. Yes, Doctor. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Uh-oh. I must first suture the artery, find the wound, the source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. We've lost his pulse. He's dying, Doctor. So you could probably eat him now. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. We don't have epinephrine. Cardiac massage. Now. Cardiac? What? Are you making this up as you go along? Oh, that was the wrong one. I should have said epinephrine. He's dead. I could have saved him. I said cardiac. I, that didn't sound real. I, I thought it, I didn't know they were gonna troll me like that. Otherwise, I would have said epinephrine because that's a real thing. We've lost the pulse. He, he's gone, Doctor. Yes, we did everything we could. Truly, everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something... primitive. There have been numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... I'd best take some samples of the blood for analysis. Damn, dude. If only I'd given him epinephrine. you're here to test my bedside manners. Well, anyway, I gotta go look at something. Oh, it's, it's locked. locked. Uh. So what do I owe this cut? I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? Your heart might be in the right place, but you can't carry on with this blackmail. For God's sake, Dorothy, it's extortion. It's a serious crime. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people have. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. 
Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So, are you going to turn me over to the authorities? I wish there was another option. I needed a hint to get it. No. Your place is here. Jailing you would be an even greater crime. So? Here is my proposition. I'll look the other way on your little enterprise. In exchange, you will resign from the Pembroke Hospital and provide me with medical supplies when the need arises. Dr. Reed! That sounds like a business proposition. My accomplice, then. No, just a privileged client. My research may require the occasional rare piece of equipment or ingredient. I'll pay good coin in exchange, fair and honest, to help finance your noble endeavors. We have ourselves a deal, Doctor. Good customers are always welcome. Yes, Nurse Crane. We have a deal. Well, there we go, but I'm thirsty as hell. New citizens available to kill. I missed that hint. I wonder what it was. Interview with the vampire. So if I talked to somebody near Whitechapel, I probably could have found more about her. That was my fault there. Let's go report to Lady Ashbury. Did something just happened? Or did someone just drop something? What the hell, man? Oh, God. Go. Hit him. Oh, man. That's some good damage. Saw, dude. Get on the ground. Trying to kill me. I don't think so, bruv. Shit. Can I avoid them all together? Nope. Do something with him. Eat him. Eat him. God, that's so good. It's delicious. Keep chewing. Whoa, that was scary. We went into his body. Are you going to swing, bro? Fight him. Fight him in the butt. Right in the butt. Shit, that leech is lost. Fight him again. See, we're starting to get better. He's dead. Too many nibbles. Too many nibbles and bits. Grab it. Thank you very much. Good, so we can make some mods. Do not cough in public. Well, he's already messing that up. Got a level up would be nice too. Just think how much of a higher level we would have been if we've like killed everybody so far. I feel like I should have killed that little dude, but at the same time, at the beginning, it would have been a lot simpler. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, if I had, like, see, if I can heal him, I might get some information on something else. But if only... Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Oh my god, that scared me. We got big boys. Crush the leech, boys. What happened there? I completely got shattered. It's going through him. Are you noticing this? Oh, he's got a blocker. That's why. Shit. Fight him. Fight his ass. His guard is down. 
Damn. When you get outnumbered, it's kind of cheddar, isn't it? Dodge, I can't dodge. Dodge, for God's sake. I gotta heal. Fight him. That is really handy, like fighting in combat. Oh, this guy's lighter. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Hold on. I gotta leave. Stop! Fight him, fight him, fight him. Fight him again, dude. Look at this murder. Wow, use truncheon. Did I get him? Oh, he's down. Oh, come on. Stop, for God's sake. Fight him. Nibble. He's a little bitch. Just get him. Oh, I missed him. Fight him again. Get some health back. Or not some health back, but some options. That's what I thought. It's a bit of a battle, but I managed to get it. Do they have any goodies on them? This guy's just holding out. You have to kill them in the area. That's the only way. Oh, that sounded. That sounds really sketchy. I see where we are, though. We're near the hospital. A nap will be really nice once we get it, which we can do right here. Real quick, we'll level up and then we'll go speak to. Uh, so we have 2,000, so that could give us something dank, like a new claw move. That's actually all we can get. It goes from 220 to 265. Like, these are going to be so expensive. You have to basically kill people in order to upgrade them. Unless I go extra healing. No, I need to be level 12. Can't even do that. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Hits absorbed. Hey, that might be nice to have, too. Or I can boost the health and hold off on the claws for a bit. I think I might do that, actually. Get my health up nice and high. Just keep going. No, I can't do that one. I'm a level 10, though. Increase stamina. That seems fair. I haven't done that yet. The basic stuff needs to be upgraded. Alright, we don't have enough for a level 3 endurance. But that makes us a level 11. Yeah, they all. The minimum is a 300. So, anyway, let's go speak to her and uh, finish up the mission. Futile police raids. I wonder if it's because. So they reported it. So if I made a different decision with her. I get it, so each pillar is gonna have, uh... So I essentially had to just, like, a, like, sort it out. We had all this guy's health. So we could eat him, he's worth 1,200. That's kinda cool, though, that they give you these options, you know? Alright, she's down low, so let's do it. Oh, is she outside again? Damn it. Did I already look at that? Yeah. Oh, what's she doing back here? <gasps> Jesus H.
I would ask you to avert your eyes, sir. Or did you not know it was rude to stare? I knew it. Speak up, Dr. Reed. I like a man who speaks his mind. You killed him. He trusted you. And you killed him. Spare me your sarcasm, Jonathan. You are but newly born in this world. No need to apologize, my lady. I know exactly what you endure. The situation is somewhat awkward, nonetheless. I have not been observed sustaining myself for many decades. I have to say, I'm a trifle embarrassed. Anyway, I have concluded my inquiries concerning your blackmailer. I see. Please excuse my agitated state. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't let anyone see me in this condition. I must confess I have not put an end to the blackmail, my lady. Unfortunately, I could not bring myself to do it. I'm so disappointed in you, Jonathan. I didn't expect this from you. Lady Ashbury, you yourself admitted how ridiculous the sum of money was. I can assure you it was all used for charitable ends. Well, you were full of surprises, aren't you, Jonathan? All right, say I trust you, but you will still pay the ransom. That is only fair. After all, it was you who failed to bring this problem to a satisfactory conclusion. I believe I could agree to that. And since a lady always keeps her promises, I will now answer any questions you may have. Why does Dr. Swansea allow you to feed on the patients of the hospital? Dr. Swansea is a good and compassionate man. He is trying to find a solution for our... hunger. Until that happens, he is clever enough to understand that I only feed upon the dying. What do you know about this Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole? The Brotherhood is well known amongst London Vampire Society. As long as our kind is discreet, and as long as they do not interfere, we have come to a mutual understanding. And no one suspected you of the murders? As you well know, suspicion has recently fallen on me of killing for pleasure. But you have my word, Jonathan. I take no pleasure in taking a life. I know this is beyond the pale, but may I inquire your age? Really? And I thought you were gentlemen. If you must know, I'm 27. I've been 27 for a long time now. And 27, I shall remain. Ha. I'm 27 as well. The difference is, is I'm not a vampire. So I will age. Very well. But I believe there is more to this than you are saying. Of course there is. A lady has to have some secrets. No, I get it. I get what she's saying. She was, she became a vampire at 27, and she, because she's immortal now, as long as she feeds, she'll remain looking 27 forever. And who bestowed upon you this eternal youth? Your My mama. Maker. Got him. He left this isle a long time ago. Why did you save me in the canning factory? I could hardly stand by and watch such a promising young blood as yourself be torn to shreds by some gutter scowl. William Bishop wasn't the vampire that created me then. No, Jonathan. Whatever their strength and demeanor, scowls are the progeny of careless vampires. It cannot be the other way round. What type of vampire is a scowl? Not a true vampire. The deformed offspring of lesser vampires. It is a shame these creatures run wild, slaves to their baser instincts. Alright, what else? When I awoke, changed, I was chased and attacked by vampire hunters. Prepared and well trained. Though I can't be certain, more than likely it was the once glorious guard of Prewen. Once glorious, but still dangerous. 
They have seen better days, but all fanatics are dangerous. You would be wise to stay clear. They are sworn to destroy our kind. You make them sound like some sort of cult. More a society, and like all the best ones, a secret society. I thought them almost gone, but it seemed they have been recruiting. I've been away from London and England for three years. This isn't the city I remember. Things have gone from bad to worse here, Jonathan. I've lived in this city for a long time, and I've never seen it like this. The Spanish flu has hit London that bad. Yes, but it's not just that. I've heard things. Things I've not heard for a very, very long time. There are whispers in the shadows. Something far worse than the Spanish flu is here in the city. What is it you fear? Fear has long since flown this form. But there is something malevolent circling us. I feel fear is merely waiting in the wings. Are there many vampires here in London? Immortals are of a rare breed, and we often tend to hide. But you may occasionally meet some of us at night. Do you know any of them? Have you an idea of the identity of the vampire who attacked me? You mean your maker? No, Jonathan, I have no clue. But I fear he or she is as careless as cruel. To let you discover your new condition by yourself. What do you mean? Every now and then, you may discover an immortal in the deep of the night. But we are a rare and reclusive breed. Our progeny is almost never accidental. Will they all be as affable as you, my lady? I do not see why not. But remember, even the shark smiles before he bites. That sounds like a lesson from experience. Vampire politics are as intricate and sometimes tedious as a game of chess in a gentleman's club. I've learned from experience it is best to decline to play. Okay, well, I think that's about all the topics. Maybe not. I don't understand. Why was I created and then left for dead? That is a question only the one who made you can answer. It's not normal practice. I doubt even if you find him, he will answer you, considering how cruelly he treated you. So me being a vampire could have been a mistake. I very much doubt it, Jonathan. Contrary to the legends, it is not as simple to make another vampire by just biting someone. I'd like to avoid creating another vampire by mistake anyway. Tell me. How is it done? <sighs> the process is dangerous. It could even kill your potential progeny. If you did decide to sire an offspring, they must drink of your blood, Jonathan. I've been hearing a voice talking in my head. Is this some kind of insanity? It feels like the voice of the vampire that created me. Hush. Tell no one this. It would be unwise to talk of such things amongst British immortals. Speak no more of your maker. How could this cause offense? Only the powerful immortals can mentally call to their progeny. No vampire or hunter will sleep easy knowing that an unidentified elder is stalking the streets of London. Excuse my forwardness, but... Are you my maker? Me? Goodness, no. Only a foolish immortal would create a progeny without taking precaution, and I'm no fool. A vampire? Is that what I am? What we are? Such a crude word, defined by penny dreadfuls and drunken hacks. No. You are now an echo, and that you shall remain. 
Are you an Ekon too? Yes, I am. We are the closest thing to what man refers to as vampires. Forget what you think you know about us. So we are Ekons. How can I identify us amongst other vampires? How to put it? All Ekon are vampires. But all vampires are not Ekon. We are a... but a branch of the immortal tree. Okay, I think that's about it, finally. I bid you farewell, for now, my lady. I must oh. quickly analyze the blood I took from Nurse Crane's patient. All right, back up. Good God, getting all mixed around. Kidoki. What? Am, wait. What am I analyzing again? This is the Razvin, right? Or all? I mean, we can analyze all these. My bad. I should have done this way sooner. So we can we can cure things here. Pneumonia. That's even worse. Anyway, what am I doing here? Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Sw oh, sorry about it. Oh, what's going on? Stop. I'm frozen and... Oh, I see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash Danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, Danku8000. Instagram, Danku8K. And Snapchat, Danku8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. If you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer link in the description, be sure to use the promo code Danku8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, no need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's style Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash to bed intruder. Got that glocking, got them woofers. Just Press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.